Morning everybody, it's another day. It's another day in the Philippines. And also, another day after Mount Pinatubo. Yes, we made it, we're home, and it's another day. Welcome to my channel. Vlog live 24 seven. <laughs> also, it's another day of pain because I tell you something, going up Mount Pinatubo and coming back down, that was painful. And that pain hasn't gone away. So yep, I'm still in pain. My feet, my ankles, my knees, my back, my thighs, everywhere is in pain. Wow. I was told we walked approximately 14 kilometers, about 8.699 miles. Yep, that accurate, yep. I'm giving it accurate, 699. Anyway, it's all roundabout, about 14 kilometers. That's there and back. For some people that doesn't sound much, does it? But to us, that's a lot. Eight miles nearly, well, eight and a half miles, say. Cutting fine hairs, but that's a lot. And considering you're doing that, going up a volcano. <laughs> oh my days. That's triple that, triple that up because you're going uphill with rocks, streams, oh my days. So yeah, on flat land, it doesn't sound that much to some, but going up the face of a volcano, that's a lot. Even coming down. Everybody says coming down is easy. It wasn't. Coming down was just as hard as going up because it chucked it down with rain. It was pouring with rain part of the way anyway coming down and you still got the rocks that's still there and you still got the streams that you got across with faster flowing water because it was raining yes it was hard hard work and i'm glad i'm here to sit down with a cup of coffee and tell the tale <laughs> yep i'm here to tell the tale there's a karaoke going on early in the morning don't know if you can hear it but what I'm really here to show you is some little trinkets I brought back. <laughs> I was this looking through the rubble and looking for stuff to bring back as a memento of my time up there. Yep. So that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you some little trinkets that I brought back from Mount Pinatubo. So let's have a look and see what I brought back. Let's crack on. Guys, this is what I brought back. Some little things that I brought from the mountain. You can hear a lot of dogs barking. That's what you get around here. Loads of dogs. This, I was told, is a local stone. Only local to the Mount Pinatubo area. I don't know what it is, but it looks kind of granite to me. But I was told this is a very good local stone. And it looks wonderful, doesn't it? Look at that. It's got little bits in there glistening away. I'm sure there's some Mount Pinatubo in this rock somewhere. So that's what makes it very special. And this, as you can see here, it looks very simple, but for me, it's a bit of history here. This burnt bit of a tree was actually burnt by Mount Pinatubo lava. So, I had to get a bit of this. This is, I don't know how old this is. The major eruption was in 1991. 15th of June, I think it was, 1991. And it erupted again in November 2021, but not as bad. But this is a bit of Mount Pinatubo's destruction right here. Look at that. Beautiful, that's gonna go into my collection from Mount Pinatubo. Wow, that's a loud motorcycle. Oh my days. There's no exhaust on there, I'll tell you that. And here's another bit here. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful looking bit of destruction here by Mount Pinatubo. Just a little bit I brought back here. Just something to say this was from Mount Pinatubo. Yep wonderful and this one here is my special one which i was told by the guide is a bit 
of Mount Pinatubo Lava Rock. Look at that, I had to take that. That, guys, is a bit of lava that's obviously solidified and it's hard now. Look at the colouring, that sulphur colouring there. Look at that. Oh, there's a little granite type shimmery bit of stone there. Again, there's another shimmery bit there. Wow. Yeah, he picked this for me. I said to him, could you get me a bit of lava? A proper lava stone. And he looked around and he saw this one. He said, yep, this is it. This is a bit of lava from Mount Pinatubo. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm keeping that. That's going on display when I get home. So, yep, that is it, guys. That is what I brought back from... Let's have a swig of me coffee. Ooh, that is what I brought back from Mount Pinatubo. What do you reckon? Great stuff, isn't it? Very nostalgic as far as I'm concerned. Do you know how much pain and suffering went into getting this? <laughs> A lot of pain and suffering, but I'm happy I did it. And I've got the scars to prove it. Yep, I've got the trinkets to prove it as well, which is this. You ain't getting this unless you go up there or you get someone to bring it down for you. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it. Enjoy your day. And until the next video, catch you later.